Hello, and welcome to another edition of Tudor Talks. I'm Gabe Tudor, proud superintendent of Worcester City Schools. I have a lot of exciting things to share with you today to continue to brag on our amazing students and staff. First, you might have noticed that last Saturday in the Worcester Weekly, Don uh, Blattel was featured um, as a local artist for her glazed poured pottery. Um, this is a great example of it right here. Uh, she actually gave this to me my first day here at Worcester. Um, it is on display, not this, but some more of her artwork is on display at the Wayne County Center for the Arts. So congratulations, Don, and uh, again, just a great example of the amazing and talented staff we have here at Worcester City Schools. Mrs. Broda, our theater arts teacher, and her advanced theater team, recently at a competition, received a superior rating and we actually had two cast members that were named to the all-county uh, all team. So congratulations to Mrs. Broda and her advanced theater class. Also this week, the middle school spelling contest for the county took place. Um, you actually notice a link at the bottom of the screen right now to a newspaper article in the Daily Record about it, uh, where you'll find out that Nick Kakanura um, was the spelling champion for the county, an Edgewood Middle School student. And Eli Dean also was a finalist and will both move on to the regional meet. So congratulations to Nick and Eli. Our robotics team. We have a robot, if you didn't know, we have a, a robotics team at the high school uh, led by two staff members, uh, Jake Melrose and Dylan Ruff. Um, our robotics team is actually, they, they go across the state and even country at times to participate in events in robotics. Um, it's, a, it's, it's a really neat program. Uh, these kids spend a lot of time, have a lot of practices after school. I've actually got two links for you on the screen that I, I think will be kind of neat for you. One is kind of to show you what, what does it mean by robotics and when it's a competition, what is that? It's kind of this, um, it's, it's a battle that they create these robots and then, you know, obviously are doing things within the competition to, to win and, uh, you know, by defeating the other, other team. Um, and then the second link is a recent tournament that they participated with at Triway uh, where we finished first place. So this was a championship um, match. Um, right now, we have two teams of robotics. We have the Gold Rush team, which is currently second in Ohio in their, um, in their field and 17th in the world. Um, and our other team, Blue Heat, at the high school is 13th in Ohio and 107th in the world. So that's just pretty amazing when you think about right here in Worcester, Ohio, we have two teams that are ranked in the, pretty much the top 100 in the world. We also have a middle school team. Um, first, I just love their name, Yum Mum Spaghetti. So regardless of even if they were talented, which they are, what a great name. They are currently 25th um, in Ohio. And so, you know, I, I really think it's kind of neat. You can see, see kind of what these guys do and, uh, you know, it's the, the hard work that they put in. You can also follow them on Facebook as there is a uh, Worcester Robotics Facebook page. Um, and we even have a tournament coming up at Cornerstone uh, for them on February 19th and would encourage anybody uh, that wants to learn more about our robotics program to come and watch. Um, lastly, um, you might also have heard within the last day that the, there's been some changes both here locally um, and at the state level regarding COVID protocols. So first, locally, our Board of Education met uh, for their regular meeting on Tuesday night and um, uh, voted to put in a new procedure in terms of masking. So the new procedure is that on February 14th, so that would be um, two Mondays from now, um, we will be moving to a mask optional policy um, as long as two factors. So the first is, is that cases continue to go down in um, Wayne County. Um, so they will have to continue. So we'll have two more weeks of data there from the Wayne County Health Department. And that each building stays below a 3% threshold, meaning that no more than 3%, so 3% or less of our students have um, an active COVID case at the time. Uh, that you might remember that metric is similar to what we did back in October um, when the board at that time transitioned to a mask optional policy. If after February 14th, uh, one of two things, either our cases are going back up as a county or a building, specific building, is above 3%, we will require masking uh, for at least two weeks in that building and until cases move below the 3% threshold. Lastly, 
um, our quarantine guidelines for the state of Ohio were changed. We anticipated this, but we didn't know when that would officially occur. And basically what the new regulation states is that in schools, um, contact tracing is no longer required. Um, you know, the state has recognized through a lot of feedback from local health organizations and school districts that this has become a very taxing um, thing on our staff and students. And of course, we want to mitigate this virus the very best that we can, um, but partly because there's been a lot of evidence that luckily school spread has not been quite as common as out of school spread, the, the, uh, the state has determined that it's in the best interest to no longer require in school contact tracing. Um, we will continue to follow the guidelines from the out of school. So if you are contact outside of school and, you know, we would still expect you to obviously, um, you know, stay home at, based on the flow chart and, uh, and mask where appropriately. Also, you will not have a change in terms of notifications. We will continue to send a letter out each day and we'll also continue to keep the COVID dashboard active. Um, I've got a link to the new letter from the Ohio Department of Health and Dr. Vanderhoff uh, that kind of spells out our responsibilities and kind of the reason for this change. Um, again, uh, so, you know, kind of, kind of continuing to move, um, you know, with a little less regulation there that hopefully will allow us to really focus on, on our students um, in other ways. I do want to say thank you for our staff um, and our students and our parents. Uh, for the continued work that they've done really about for the past year and a half in regards to contact tracing um, to continue to keep our students safe. Again, thank you for your continued support of our school district. If you have any questions related to anything today, feel free to contact me. I uh, hope you're staying warm and go.